this morning we kicked off our Tuesday with some snow showers that moved through the area. Still seeing a lot of that activity overhead as that will be the trend for just a little bit longer. As of right now, some of those showers are breaking up just ever so slightly, a little less widespread than we saw this morning. You'll notice some of that also wants to potentially transition into a bit of a wintry mix. Those temperatures are climbing a few degrees above freezing, something we'll have to keep an eye on. Otherwise, it does look like we're still seeing pockets of some moderately heavier snow further south of DeKalb, as we'll continue to see this through the rest of our Tuesday. Hence why we're still under that winter weather advisory. Doesn't expire until midnight tonight, and it does feature our entire area. So still going to see that those slushy roadways slick spots as well will be a threat through the rest of our day today, along with lower visibility. We're still seeing visibility under about three miles for most of us across the area, about one mile in DeKalb, one over in Rockford and two up into both Freeport and Monroe. Definitely take caution on those roadways. Give yourself a little extra time as we are going to continue to see these conditions throughout the afternoon and evening for Tuesday. The next couple hours, your temperatures will climb again a little above freezing, close to the mid to upper 30s, but we're still going to hold on to that chance for those snow showers. They will be rather scattered for the rest of our day as we will still see pockets of moderate snowfall into the afternoon, especially if you are a little bit further to the north. You'll see just that here on future track. We will end up seeing a bit of a break, especially further south of us as we head into the rest of our afternoon. Again, still going to see those scattered showers throughout most of northern Illinois, but you'll notice a lot of that activity really wants to linger around that state line, bringing some pockets of heavier snow as we head into this evening. This is just before 630, so if you are still commuting back home at that time, keep that in mind as we'll see a lot of that taper off, especially overnight, but those showers will still linger into our Wednesday, bringing us yet another chance for snow. In terms of your totals, most of us will stay between that one to two range. If you are a little bit further to the northeast, may end up getting closer to about three if not four inches a little further away from our area as well as we are going to see some lake enhancement happening a little bit further to the northeast and of course closer to that lake. Otherwise, temperatures will stay within those upper to mid 30s today. We'll continue to see those snow showers moving through. They'll become a little bit more scattered and off and on in nature as we fall into the low 30s overnight. That snow will taper off early on. We'll hang on to those clouds, but we're still going to hang on to a chance for tomorrow. More snow is likely into your Wednesday afternoon. Lower amounts, of course, and we may even see some flurries into Thursday may even get a threat for some snow squalls into your Wednesday. That is those bursts of quick, heavy snow likely to bring some blizzard conditions at times, so we'll have to keep an eye on that as we head into tomorrow. Otherwise, once that snow moves out, your temperatures are going to drop. We fall into the low 20s by Friday, lower teens overnight. Some may even fall into the single digits in your most accurate 10 day forecast. Those temperatures will slowly warm as we get closer to Sunday and Monday. Sunshine returns and so do those 40s. It looks like we'll be a little bit more milder into next week. May see some active return weather return by the time we head into Thanksgiving, Eric.